Trump assassination attempt, second shooter theory. Let's look at some audio analysis. Hello, this is Chart GPT today. You know, there's a zillion conspiracy theories out there with the Trump uh, assassination attempt. And of course, you wonder why the uh, um, the authorities aren't coming out with more data more, more quickly. That's one way to kill a lot of these uh, potential conspiracy theories by just coming out clean. Why they don't do that, um, I'll let you determine why. Uh, a lot of people have their theories on that. In any case, we're going to take a look at this uh, second shooter theory. There's a lot of audio analysis out there. We thought we'd get take a look at it. Kind of curious about this, kind of a whodunit type thing. So let's take a look at it. There's one, a couple, we put a couple of reference links in the post link uh, in the description box there. And there's a guy from, was it uh, Peak Prosperity? He's done a pretty good analysis. That's what kind of triggered me. But there's been others. Here's one from uh, Redacted. They've been, they've been pushing the idea of the water tower theory that there's someone up on the water tower. So uh, they're, you know, and, and there's nothing against these uh, two organizations. I mean, they, they, uh, they, Give their opinions and everything is uh, fair and love and war i suppose uh you know i, I tend to like these uh, folks uh in terms of their analysis doesn't mean i agree with them but nevertheless it is what it is so first off we're gonna we took our we took a download we, and again all the reference link to these videos both uh, the redacted and the um these a couple and a couple others are in the in the, in the description box post link as well as the audio that we use to to do our analysis so we can take a look at that Anyway, so we take a look at this. Here, here's a quick, uh, just a quick uh, rerun. You've probably seen this a million times. We'll just show you. Here's what the video uh, and the audio we used. So let's take a quick listen to this. Take a look at what happened. Oh. So from that we we took we took it and we actually slowed it down uh, by by uh, two so it's twice as long and so here we're gonna play this audio you probably won't get much out of it but you can kind of get a, a feel for what it sounds like at uh, half speed uh, and so we we did this and so then we kind of look at the analysis of this so let's go ahead and play this. <laughs> So here's the here's the thing that we looked at here. It appears to us that there's this consistent uh, point two two, which is something that other people have talked about from the from the hypersonic uh, shot to to the report of the gun, and, and you can see they're all very consistent. The first three shots, we figured that Crooks did at least seven shots, perhaps, and we did. He was 143. 0.37 yards away. Now what we did is we used the AI to calculate that, to double check that, to make sure that's right, and it is. You can take, again, look at the references on the, on the write-up on the AI and we, so to figure that out. So that's fairly correct. Yeah, it's pretty consistent with a lot of folks. So the first three here, you get the first shot, second, th third shot. Most people believe, of course, the first shot it seems to be the one that actually missed Trump just by um, a whisker there. And the rest were just kind of shooting in, in other people. So, but then we get into this uh, detail here on shots four, five, and between five, shot five and seven, there's this one shot that doesn't seem to have a, a echo, a report behind it. So this is some other um, firearm or gun or something out there. So we kind of label that a six, put it in blue. But then after the seventh, we don't see those any more. Uh, so this is kind of curious uh, how this works. And then there's the eighth, and then the final one is the ninth. So the six, eight, and nine are the key ones that people think that perhaps is the second shooter. But it very well could be, until we get some more detail, uh, those could actually coming from the, the SWAT teams firing back. I mean, you know, some people think it was only one shot, but it may be more. We don't know. Uh, so shots six and nine probably uh, came from the same gun, but it's inconclusive. But they don't really have a report or an echo. Um, shot eight uh, looks like it was from a different gun, and it does have a report uh, on it. And it was about 55 yards away. That's again calculating by the AI. 
The bottom line to all this, it very well could be that the red is, in fact, was Crooks, the shooter, and the, the blues are other shots coming from, from the SWAT teams. Now, whether or not they're a second shooter, it's inconclusive. You can't make it, say, 100% that it was definitely a second shooter. So from our perspective, we still the jury is still out on that. Now, keep in mind that all this analysis has nothing to do with every other aspect. Of, you know, we got drones, uh, foreign accounts, uh, you know, whether or not the, the circuit service did, did the right thing or not the right thing. There's theories on uh, whether or not he was uh, depressive, uh, SSRIs, you know, MK Ultra, all this stuff. That all could still be true. And again, this we may find out one of these three shots that were identified in blue may in fact. But the point is, he was already down by the sixth shot, which was in question. This is the one that doesn't have the echo. He was already down. So why would they wait till the sixth shot to actually do something? So the point being is the likelihood of a second shooter is, is quite poor. Uh, so th that's our take on it. But, um, you know, we'll wait and see how it comes out. Of course, you know, the, the, it, you know, people from the right might think, oh, yes, it's, 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 it's a cover-up. It's a cover-up. Maybe, maybe not. So let's let's not uh, jump to conclusions. Let's not be like the Democrats. Here's Joy Reid. She's she's wondering whether or not he even got hit. He wants to see his medical records. That's nonsense. And and of course, here's another one here. Uh, one in three Biden supporters think Trump shooting might have been staged. Well, that's nonsense as well. Anyway, it is what it is. Take a look at uh, the description box in terms of the post link and take our online poll. Do you believe in the two shooter Trump assassination attempt theory or not? Hmm. In any case, the whodunit continues. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe.